Hello, hello, hello. Is this a happy face? It is. <laughs> it's happy, but but my video is not going to be happy, okay? It's on something sad, but I just wanted to report a couple things to you. Um, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> you guys have questions, and I can't remember my own name. This is Sir David the Bard. I'm coming to you out of Kangaroo City here in uh, Australia, and... Um, I can't remember your questions. The hell with you. <laughs> the hell with you. I have something here I want to, uh, you know, read to you. This is out of the Desert News. Today, that's the Desert News, uh, the Mormon newspaper in uh, Salt Lake City. This is in uh, Rockford, Idaho. An LDS missionary from California remains hospitalized on support systems with injury he suffered in a fatal car crash. He's not expected to survive. He's on life support. Idaho State Police at a two-car crash. Well, you can read about it. Here's two missionaries driving, uh, I guess, a um, Mormon car. I'm sure the Mormons are more concerned about their car insurance than a dead child. But, hey, if it brings in new um, tithe payers, it brings in new tithe payers. It was about 6 p.m. on Tuesday, John Floyd, 20. Uh, he was driving the car, and I guess that uh, the other young man um, was sitting in the passenger's compartment. And I've said it and said it. I've said it and said it. You don't send 18 and 19 year old kids out into strange areas and not expect catastrophes. The missionary driving ran a stop sign. Bam! Hit by a 350 pickup truck right in the passenger door and killed uh, his companion. Um, the usual things, he's currently on life support and not expected to live, said Ruth Todd, spokesman for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And then they give you their, um, <laughs> their uh, form letter and uh, it tells you how sad they are, but uh, how many uh, non- paying tithing payers he was going to bring in. That's what they're really sad about. So anyway, um, let me let me update you. That's sad. That's sad. But you know, life goes on. The Mormons don't care. The Mormons don't care. They, they think that he was called by God to preach on the other side of the veil, wherever that is. I've never seen the veil. Anyway, his garments didn't protect him, did they? Another garment failure. He should have wrapped his garments around his head and then put another pair on and then, you know, sat there and put a garment up by the damn airbag. Bunch of fools. Anyway, uh, yesterday was a good day. 24 hours has been a good day here for the bar. Now, I told you that um, I had to go to court and I wasn't going to tell you what it was about. Uh, and I'm still not going to go into details, but I want to ask you to um, look at my face and see if I won or lost. I'm not going to tell you. It was the cleanest court case I've ever won. I've won several. I've lost two. But I think I've won five or six. And this one was clean. And uh, anyway, so there's um, several thousand dollars there that... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you if I got money or I got out of paying money. <laughs> Could be either one. Um, God, just before I come on, I, I think of a thousand things, and, and then I, I go through my, my comments. Um, I do want to celebrate for myself over 500,000, half a million hits. Again, I thank you. And again, it's my therapy. It's my damn therapy. I, uh, I have... Uh, uh, a lot of need for therapy at different times. I'm going to close this video and then I'm going to open another one up talking about uh, something I think is interesting. Thanks, Mike.